to open people's eyes and make them realise that we have all this on our doorstep. We have a passion about early years. There's lots of smiles and you think, that's why I'm doing it. Well, I've just seen a squirrel. I love my job. As you can see, we're a busy nursery. My name is Patricia Eddy and my job is nursery manager. Day-to-day -day job, it's mainly office-based, although I can sometimes come into the room as well. I've got a good actual mix of both. We're here to support the parents as they go to college, and I see, see that as a fundamental part of being in the nursery. I am Louise Toynton and I'm a nursery assistant. My day-to-day -day job involves helping the running of the nursery, cleaning up, doing snack, helping with lunches, coming through and integrating with the children. I've always wanted to be a nursery nurse since the day I left school and I started my training at Murray College way back when and I've continued but I'm only stopping when I had my own children. We're quite a close team, we're all very experienced, very knowledgeable, we've all been doing it for a very long time. We're lucky that we don't have a high staff turnover so we all work very well together and it's just a fun team to be part of. No day is the same. You can have anything going on in your life and you come into work and one of the children will smile at you or do something new and exciting and it just makes you feel really, really happy. Ladybird has been set up to look after children who have very complex needs. So they might have complex physical needs, which means they would struggle in a mainstream nursery. So we have to deal with new referrals who come from the physios or the occupational therapists or the consultants, and they refer the children. And so it's up to me to have a look at their needs and whether I feel that they would need to come to Ladybird or whether they would be better suited in a mainstream nursery. My name's Anna Ingram and I'm the administrator at Ladybird. A big part of my job is securing the funding to make sure we can stay afloat. If there's no funding, there's no Ladybird, so it's a very important bit of the job and the one I get most satisfaction from. We've got a lovely building here, but it's not the building, it's the people. It's the staff that matter, it's the important bit. I support children with developmental delays and a holistic approach. So it could be from communication, it could be physical and we just support them and provide activities that can enable us to do that. My son came to Ladybird. He's been diagnosed with autism. Didn't know about autism until he was diagnosed. I've seen how much it benefits the kids having that early intervention. My child was non-verbal. He now doesn't stop talking. <laughs> so the early intervention of Ladybird is fantastic. So that is my reason for coming to work here. I love my job, I love working with the children, seeing how much they grow, seeing them move on, it is brilliant. I'm Samantha Simpson and I'm principal teacher of the nursery. We've got the advantage of being within the school. We go to assembly, we use the library, we use the music room, we use the gym hall. So we're very much part of a school. When I first started here, it was 80 children. So 80 children's names to learn, all their parents' faces to learn, all the routines. I just didn't quite realise how much is involved in the run of our nursery. So there's a lot to learn initially, but I think I'm getting there. <laughs> My name is Shirley Smith and I'm nursery nurse here. I love to see children that have found something new and they've learned something they love to come and tell you about it. And it's exciting for them and it's really exciting for the adult as well. They are learning through activities that they are choosing. But a lot of folk think that it's just playing, but when you're three year old, you're learning every aspect through play. I was one-to-one -one support here for three years and the senior position came up and I thought I'm putting a challenge so I'm going to go for it. First year was kind of scary because it was like, whoo, I'm not very good at being in charge. But apart from that, we're on a roll now. My name is Hannah May and I work here at Earth Times Outdoor Nursery as the nursery manager. 
Earth Times Nursery is predominantly based outside. We aim to spend around 85% of our time here in the outdoors. There's a huge improvement in the children's ability to use their communication skills, their team building skills, confidence, and there's just something wonderful about watching young children interact with their environment in such a natural way. This job came up and I had to do it because I love working with young children and being in the outdoors is just fantastic. We talk about all the benefits there are for the children, but I think there are just as many benefits for the staff. I've just done my SVQ, so for me it's been challenging in that it's learning new skills and learning how to do things differently. With children, you have to change the way you think about the world because you have to think of it in very small, minute little bits rather than in a big thing like this. Follow what you think is the best path for you. Things will change as you go through life anyway. I've done different jobs and this is the one that I find the most rewarding. So I would say this is, a, this is actually a really good job to have. My name is Kelsey Custer and I'm an apprentice here at Earth Time. I was looking at options of just going through college, but then when I got offered this, I thought it was really good because I got the hands-on experience with the children along with getting my qualification as well. If they could get the opportunity to get an apprenticeship, it's really worthwhile. Some of our staff here started as volunteers and are now taking on apprenticeships and they're doing their qualifications through us. So just immerse yourself in it, really. Outdoors might not be for you, but I think it's great. <laughs>